When light hits an object made of naturally occurring materials, it will scatter around that object, causing us to be able to see it physically. However, imagine if we could manufacture a material which would bend light around itself instead of scattering that light in all directions. This would allow us to see through that object as if it were not there at all. A material with this property is called a metamaterial. The metamaterials used in order to cause the guiding of light rays are made up of a lattice with the spacing between elements being less than the wavelength of the light waves that we wish to bend. One type of metamaterial, as shown to the right here, has a negative refractive index, which can prevent wave decay. This would allow imaging on a nanometer scale. In 2005, a thin slab of silver was used to image objects that are only 60 nanometers across, or about 100 the size of a red blood cell. The index of refraction n is the ratio of the speed of light in a vacuum divided by the speed of wave propagation in the medium it is traveling in. It is used to determine the angles at which an electromagnetic wave, such as light, will bend when entering a new medium. The speed of wave propagation in a medium is also known as the phase velocity. An important relationship to refer to when calculating the angle of refraction of a wave passing through two mediums is Snell's law, which is given at the bottom of this slide. Now, after observing this equation, notice the relationship that would occur if one of the mediums had a negative index of refraction. This would result in a negative angle of refraction. Light moving into materials with a negative index of refraction will bend in an opposite direction as they would if they were moving in a medium with a positive index of refraction. Metamaterials are artificially structured materials made to have properties not found in nature. These properties are derived from the structure of the material and its inherent properties. The most common structure is the arrangement of elements whose size and spacing is much smaller than the variation of the exciting field. The behavior of the individual elements can now be often incorporated into continuous material parameters. The collection of discrete elements is now replaced by a hypothetical continuous material. Metamaterials can manipulate electromagnetic waves such as blocking, absorbing, deflecting, and bending waves. The metals used to form the metamaterial circuits are also good conductors that can form structures with relatively low absorption. One of the main properties that interests researchers is the ways that you can bend and manipulate light to your benefit using metamaterials. Researchers are hoping to take advantage of this property in the fabrication of solar cells. If we can bend the light so a greater concentration of it hits the region of the cell that is harvesting the energy, we would have a much more efficient gain of energy in the cell. Specifically, scientists are able to change the structure of the material such that different wavelengths of light bend at different angles. This is how we could focus the light on a particular point in the cell. Another method that scientists are working toward is developing a material with the same index of refraction of air but reflects no light. This means that the light would not be bent or reflected, but all of it would be transmitted directly to the active region of the cell. One very interesting use of metamaterials is that they can be used to cloak an object. Due to metamaterials ability to manipulate electromagnetic waves, the cloak is able to redirect the light around the object and back on its original trajectory. Scientists believe this property could be useful in a variety of applications. For example, if we can have metamaterials on the insides of cars at certain locations to remove blind spot, it could greatly reduce the number of accidents. Metamilitary applications could also exist as well, with countries wishing to produce planes that could be completely invisible to any form of radar. Since normally, refraction through a solid causes light to disperse at each interface, then according to Snell's law, by using metamaterials with a negative refractive index, we can also convert a converging lens to a diverging lens, and vice versa. In recent years, metamaterials have become an integral part of nanoimaging, solving the problems that semiconductor companies have had for over a decade. In the year 2000, by observing the properties of electromagnetic waves in mediums of negative refractive index, Professor Sir John Pendry and some colleagues were able to show that it is indeed possible to build an artificial material with negative permeativity. Their proposed structure, the split ring resonator, is almost a complete circle of metal which behaves like an inductive capacitance resonator of an electrical filter circuit. When the resonator sits in a magnetic field that changes with time, charge builds up across the gap in the ring. At low frequencies, 
the currents that oscillate within the resonator stay in phase with the driving field, but at higher frequencies, the currents start to lag, generating an out-of-phase response which produces the effect of negative permeability at those higher frequencies.